ensure you watch part 1 of chlamydia in women. Topics covered include, what is chlamydia, how many people have chlamydia, how is chlamydia spread and what are the symptoms of chlamydia, here is what you need to know about chlamydia in pregnancy. Chlamydia trachomatis is responsible for the sexually transmitted disease symptoms that occur during pregnancy. Chlamydia is one of the more, if not most common sexually transmitted disease. Chlamydia may cause heavy bleeding before delivery. It might cause membranes to break early, resulting in premature delivery. It also may be connected to miscarriage, stillbirth, or low birth weight. Fortunately, treatment of chlamydia is successful in 9 out of 10 pregnant women. Antibiotics must be chosen carefully during pregnancy, so make sure to consult your doctor. How does chlamydia infection affect the newborn? Between 20 and 50 percent of children born to women with chlamydia will be infected. Chlamydia is the leading cause of neonatal conjunctivitis, an eye infection that can cause blindness. Symptoms usually begin within four weeks of birth. These children can also develop chlamydia pneumonia, a kind of pneumonia that can be fatal. This infection is harder to treat in infants than adults. How is chlamydia diagnosed? A vaginal or urine sample is required for the test, which involves isolating the chlamydia trachomatis bacteria, either through a culture, growing the microbe in a cup, or by probing the sample for traces of the microbe's DNA. For women, the test involves examining the cervix, which is the entrance to the uterus, and acquiring a vaginal sample using a Dacron swab. A cytology exam, pap test, might indicate that a chlamydia test is necessary. However, the pap test is not considered reliable for detecting chlamydia. A gonorrheal or a chlamydial infection can present with similar symptoms, but it's essential to differentiate them, as certain medications clear up gonorrhea but are ineffective against chlamydia. The presence of other sexually transmitted infections can also mask the symptoms of chlamydia. If you're undergoing a test for chlamydia or gonorrhea, you must not take any antibiotics for at least three weeks beforehand. Is there a cure for chlamydia? Fortunately, yes. Chlamydia is easy to treat, once it is identified. Both partners must be treated at the same time. Antibiotics are prescribed to kill the chlamydia bacteria. Doxycycline or azithromycin are the preferred treatments. Azithromycin is taken in one dose. Although doxycycline costs less, it must be taken for seven days. Penicillin does not succeed in killing chlamydia. Other categories of antibiotics including ofloxacin, erythromycin, and erythromycin ethyl succinate are also prescribed to cure chlamydia. Erythromycin is often prescribed for pregnant women and other people who cannot take tetracycline. It is also used to treat infants with eye infections or pneumonia caused by chlamydia. Your doctor can help you decide which is the best treatment for you. Seek advice. If you are treated for chlamydia or any other sexually transmitted infection, remember, take all the prescribed medicine. Even if the symptoms go away, the infection may still be in your body. Make sure your partners is, are treated at the same time so you don't reinfect each other. Our goal is complete eradication. Do not share your medicine with anyone. What if I don't treat my chlamydia? Is chlamydia dangerous? Continue watching part 3 of chlamydia in women. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more health tips moxiever.com